But yeah, for what it's worth, the game, the absolute worst point of the game comes before this, not here. So the, you know, the last level... Yeah, I guess the last level here is actually probably almost the... Or no, I still say the unicycle is the best of the flea pit levels. But uh, this is the second best of the flea pit levels. It's still dreadful, but you know. At least we don't land, end things on like an absolute low. By comparison, we're... So, so yeah, by comparison, we're kind of ending on a high note. Son of a bitch, every fucking hit matters on here. Need to... Yeah, uh... And again, the camera, especially when you got, got these fucking foreground elements, like, look at the vision I have here. Look how far I can see in front of me. It's, I can't see anything at all. There could be any, any amount of garbage behind that fucking arch there. I swear to you, that th this, these flea pit levels commit, like, every sin in, like, the shitty 2D platformer Bible. I'm I'm just drained at this point. I don't even know what to think. I think I've gotten it all out at this point. I have, at long last, I've actually it's that's actually yes, amazing. I have, I've ma I think I've managed to keep things like this varied with the commentary and the flea pits. There are that many things to complain about. I I thought that there was like no end to the bullshit that uh, just yeah no end of things to complain about, but it turns out that we've kind of reached that end. And you know what? I actually yeah because I can clear away those rocks super quick, I actually can kind of speed through that last section there. You know what, I think I was bullshitting about the invincibility frames. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that these guys take just as long to kill as otherwise. Can I even get through here? Yeah. I'm 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 am sorry for the lack of commentary, guys. I'm just one. I'm kind of emotionally and I don't know, mentally and spiritually drained at this point after spending, yeah, just about yeah, a little over half an hour in the flea pit here. It's been on the plus side. Yeah, I guess this is a new new record in terms of speed running the game, assuming it takes me less than 30 minutes to get through this. Yeah, and again, the, the way that the ex the place the extra time came from on my last run actually came from those last acrylic levels for, which are actually technically longer, I think, than these flea pit levels. It's just they're a bit easier, so you're less likely to die and have to replay them. Oh man, acrylic guys, remember that? Good times. This was this would, man, it's a pity. This would be such a this would be a legit great game if you just like honestly just removed the flea pit and just ended the game at Rocky Fella. Or barring that, or even better, just make like non-bullshit levels to finish the game with. Just like if the Flea Pit levels were like actual clock levels. Just, you know, like Cotton Island style 3.0. Oh God, thank goodness for tiny hitboxes. That was, that guy was hiding out there. What a son of a bitch. Okay, this is a bit annoying because, yeah, you kind of want to go slow, but you kind of want to go fast. If you go fast, a bat might run into you. If you go slow, the bats spawn endlessly and might run into you. It's like, uh, what's that? Catch-22, rock in a hard place. There's just no... Oh, my God. And, yeah, there is... Yeah, there's definitely no speeding through this. I know for a fact that there is a barrier down there and that if I go down without... Clearing these guys out, it'll just be more bullshit to deal with. Yeah, I can't even get down there. I gotta back off till they stop firing. Okay, so I believe this... Yeah, we got the health pot, health berry there, so this is... Fuck, 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 fuck. This is about the halfway point of the level. Yeah, I need to get that fruit now. Oh, God. Oh, God, the hitboxes. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow. I completely misremembered. You know what? I bet you could speed through here. Yep, no barrier. Okay, that's kind of my bad, but on the other hand, I really needed that fruit. So you really do need to slow down and kill those guys to get at the fruit. 
I knew there was some reason why I slowed down there. What, some reason why I remembered to slow down there. And yeah, we're not, of course that's not the end of the level. That'd be a, that'd be a good place to end the level. Honestly, even earlier would have been a good place to end the level, but no. I think we're maybe two-thirds done. Fuck. Oh my god, we can't stay here. This is bat country. There, I got it in there. Are you happy? Are you satisfied? I know I am. I, I love that line. Mind you, I, I can't... Of course, my delivery of it pales in comparisons to... Comparison to Johnny Depp's, but... Will I ever reach the end? You just reached the end, little buddy. We have arrived. It's final boss time. In the final video, don't miss it. I don't know, am I gonna cut it here? No, the credits aren't that long, honestly. Yeah, we'll probably just do the last level, last boss in one video. I don't know, maybe I'll end up dying against her a bunch of times too. To be honest, it took me like four tries to get her the first time. First and only time I actually beat her on any of my practice runs. Or, I mean, beat her in a legit 1cc run. I mean... And again, of course, it's another stupid vehicle. This is actually a unique one. As far as I know, this actually doesn't. This one actually doesn't show up in uh, any of the uh, bonus stages for the warps. <sighs> yeah, it's a bit tricky here. Ba basically, you've seen just about everything she does here, and then yeah, basically she shoots out those projectiles. You want to? Okay, yeah, stay the fuck away from her mouth. That was the trick, and then get away from the eggs. Okay, and stay on the inside to avoid the projectile lob there. Okay, so basically basically you want to go back and forth, switching sides on each go of the pattern. And yeah, that's basically the trick to this fight. Oh, sometimes though, if you aren't careful with oh, your jumps, yeah, the positioning can get a little bit fucked up and it's frightening. Oh god! It seems weird. I don't know what it is that makes her vulnerable when she hops down there. Like, I can clearly reach her with... what? What is that? It looks like streamers or something? What a weird fucking... Oh, oh look, look at that. That's the British flag on his helmet. Yeah, Pickford, Pickford brothers are hella British. I knew it. Fucking knew it. Only British people would... Yeah, have, have a fucking final boss. That's this giant, disgusting flea queen monstrosity. Put spring shoes on Plock for, like, f with a f flea springing sound effect and give him fucking streamers out of a can and a British helmet. Okay, that last one is kind of obvious, but fuck, still. I don't think I've, I've yeah, emphasized just how, like, how weird a concept this game is. I guess I went on that, about that earlier in the LP, but still. It's like Plock. What a weird idea. What is even the concept? I, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, how would you describe... Like, like, like the character of Plock. Like, what, what? How would you describe what Plock is? Like, as a character, as a concept, to someone who had no idea. I guess I should have thought of that before I decided to do a fucking let's play of Plock. Anyways, oh yeah, yay, wahoo, wowie! I never have to play the fucking flea pit ever again. It sucks to end an LP on such a down note. It's cathartic, I guess. I'm actually super pleased. Was that one try on the flea queen there? I knew I had my strategy down after the last successful run. And yeah, that's it. That is Plock. Oh, we finally did it. Check me out. Oh, did I miss? He might have had more dialogue there. I think I just skipped it when I shouldn't have. Oh, well, whatever it was, it was nothing special. Yeah, I'm pretty sure actually, yeah, this is pretty much the whole, whole ending here. Plock asleep on his little dirt mound. Did he just... Where, where did he find that? Is that, the, like, the Flea Queen's throne or something? It's like, I don't know. He's just, like, goes to... Takes a nap on a our easy chair and a mound of dirt or... Or, actually, no. It would be black dirt or flea gunk if he were still in the flea pit. My goodness. I think this is... I think this is the inside of Plock's house, actually. That is... Wow. Yeah, it's just like I said. He's, like, a fucking, like, weirdo psychopath or something. His house is just, like... Nothing but, like, an easy chair on a mound of dirt with a couple of rocks. Oh my goodness, what kind of person? What kind of person lives like that? My goodness. Anyways, 
you know, I hate to things, end things on such a down note, and we did have good times. Like I said, it's honestly a legit great game if you just, you know, play through and quit at the flea pit or play through on child's play mode. It's like legit great, fantastic level design, especially on acrylic. The music, the aesthetics, just kind of, the, yeah, the weird Britishness of it, I guess. It's just, uh, yeah, really good game once you get past Cotton Island and up until the flea pit. So I guess, you know, thank you, John and Stur. I, I, I called him Stee earlier. Is it Stee or Stur? Like, I want to say Steve because then it's like, it's almost Steve. He's got like two thirds of Steve going on there. So it's like Stee, but then I guess looking at the name is probably Stur, whatever. Pickford Brothers, thank you for the good times that we got out of this game anyways. And as I mentioned, yeah, it's, I actually didn't do too much investigation into the Plock uh, webcomic. But yeah, Plock is... I never thought I'd be saying this. Is still a thing that exists today. You can, He's got a webcomic you can check out if you're interested. So yeah, Pickford Brothers, just Google it, check the link below, whatever. And uh, that's going to do it for Plock. And I think if I press start here, we actually get the theme song. Oh, actually, I'm actually glad I did that. I was just going to end the LP right there. Oh, this music. Is this brand new music? I don't think this music actually plays at any point in the game. Or actually, no, no, you know what? That's the cowboy music. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's a weird 3D model of Plock as well. I don't know if... Or I believe that Plock 3D was almost a thing, too. I believe that there was a Plock PlayStation game briefly in the works that ended up getting cancelled, I believe. Uh, you can, Again, you can check that out at the Pickford Brothers website. Check out the history of Plock and all the games that they made and all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, speaking of fun stuff, or I guess the fun stuff was a long time ago. Yeah, we ended fun stuff territory way back in uh, before the flea pit. But uh, nevertheless, on the whole, I still like the game. It's a fun game, well-deserving It's of its kind of cult classic static uh, status. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and, you know, enjoyed the salt and all that and see it in the end as well. Uh, yeah, I guess that's going to do it for this uh, Let's Play Plock series. Uh, as ever, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, I guess if you watched this far, uh, feel free to uh, leave a big old comment or like or whatever below or dislike as it may be. Let me know what you thought of the video or the series in general. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'll uh, see you guys uh, next game.